Hello there, and welcome to part five of this uh, nine part series on uh, backpacking. In this part, I will talk about uh, uh, sleep systems and um, getting a good night's sleep is uh, essential to the backpacking experience. So if you don't sleep well, if you're cold, you won't enjoy it as much. So I'll just uh, share my experience with uh, sleeping in, uh, in the outdoors and uh, maybe give you a few uh, tips uh, on the way. So I'll just start with the uh, sleeping mats. So um, here's a foam sleeping mat. Uh, this is very basic. Um, as you can see, it's quite short. So I have cut it down so it's just a torso length. So it uh, covers my, uh, from my neck to my, uh, to my knees. And I have cut it off in order to make it uh, lighter basically, and then I use my uh, clothing uh, that I have taken off. I put that under my, uh, under my uh, legs and I find that is uh, enough uh, for me. Uh, but I can combine it with, um, with a, a full length uh, uh, inflatable mat. This is uh, from uh, Expat. So this is uh, very nice and thick and uh, you use a bag like this to inflate it, so and it's pretty sturdy, so uh, you shouldn't be afraid that it uh, punctures. So, but you should be carrying um, a repair kit. Uh, but I can combine these two if I need to, and I do that in the the winter time. So this is also my winter sleep system. Uh, but it depends a bit on how light you want to carry. So I find I can get away with uh, just using the foam mat alone. Uh, but if I want to be a bit more comfortable, then I will carry the, the big uh, inflatable uh, mat. And then I have uh, three sleeping bags that covers the whole year, uh, also the, the, the winter season. So I have this uh, very nice uh, light uh, down sleeping bag. Uh, this uh, is warm down to about uh, zero degrees uh, Celsius, so just when it starts to, to freeze. Um, um, I can wear extra clothing while I while I sleep in it, and then I can uh, I can stretch the temperature or push the temperature a little bit. So it is a little bit prone to get uh, wet, but if you just uh, are a bit careful and use a BB bag, uh, then uh, you you'll be fine uh, in a sleeping bag like this. And then I also have a a three season sleeping bag. This goes down to about minus, uh, minus 10. Uh, so this is, uh, this is really um, uh, flexible. So I can use it in the warmer period of the year as well. It weighs only about a, a kilo. So this is, uh, and, and the material is uh, pretty um, water repellent. So, but it's still, it's a down bag, so it, it can still get wet. So I have to be uh, a little bit careful with it. But I haven't experienced um, any trouble really, even though it can be quite uh, humid here in, uh, in Norway. And then I have my uh, winter sleeping bag. This is good down to minus 15 or something like that. It's also down, also prone to get wet, but the material is uh, water repellent. Uh, so um, so I, I use this uh, a lot during uh, the winter time here in uh, Norway and I have used it down to uh, minus 25, I think. And if you just use some tricks and uh, put on some extra clothing and have a, a hot water bottle, then you, you, can, uh, you can really stretch the temperatures in all the, the sleeping bags. I think maybe I would like to do a video on tricks to stay warm during the night. There's, uh, there's many things you, you can do. So all these bags are from the company uh, Western Mountaineering, and they are quite expensive, but I, I have had these bags for eight, ten years or so, and I have used them a lot. So if you just take care of them and uh, get them um, uh, cleaned, then they will uh, last a, a long time. So I find it, it's really worth the investment. And then you can, you can stretch the, the lifetime even further with a liner like this. This is just a, a thin piece of material. I think this is made from silk. So if you use that uh, in the sleeping bag, then it won't get uh, as sturdy from, uh, from your sweaty body. Uh, and then you don't have to get the sleeping bag cleaned as often. So having a, a liner makes it a little bit warmer, 
but it also keep, protects the, the sleeping bag. And then it can be really useful to have a, a bivy bag. And there are many models, but I'll show you mine. I have the, this bivy bag. And this is a really nice piece of uh, a multi, uh, multi-functional piece of uh, equipment. Uh, so this, uh, there's a zipper all the way around. So if I zip it open, uh, it's like a, a big square, and then I can use it as a ground cloth to, to sleep on. Uh, I do that often when I sleep in the snow. Uh, I can use it as a top. There are uh, holes in it, so I can attach string and uh, hang it up uh, between trees. Uh, it is, the material is strong enough for, for carrying a person, so you can lift a person in the material without it breaking. So it is um, a piece of uh, safety, safety gear as well. So this is, um, and it's also function as a, a poncho. So there are zippers, so you can open up uh, for the arms and, and um, you can arrange the zipper so it uh, fits over your body and over your, your backpack. So this is a really nice uh, piece of um, uh, uh, equipment. I would strongly recommend getting something like this both for safety, but also for protecting your, your sleeping bag. Okay, that's, uh, that was it. That was my uh, sleep system. So I think it's, uh, it's a pretty, um, it's a pretty uh, flexible system I have uh, made and it uh, covers the, the whole year. So I'll, uh, I'll leave some links uh, below for, for the sleeping bags. So that's it for sleep systems. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video, which will be on cook systems.